Jeffersonville, Georgia. Major Jamie McDaniel pursues a woman on a rampage. The vehicle she was driving had been reported stolen, and uh, at the time she was highly under the influence of a narcotic. McDaniel guns it and passes the car. You gotta kill yourself! Then tries to force her to slow down. Instead, she flips a U-turn and crosses to the other side of the highway. A unit ahead of McDaniel takes the lead. But the wild woman proves to be a handful for him, too. I was on the verge of calling the chase off. It, it then got so out of control. She blows past other vehicles. Flying blindly around dangerous curves. Determined to end the pursuit, officers get ahead and set up spike strips. I knew that if she made it to the troopers, there was a good chance we'd be able to get this, the pursuit stopped in a uh, safe manner. The suspect evades the trap, but winds up ending the chase herself. After swerving hard to avoid the spikes, the ferocious femme spins out. She tries to escape the way she came, but when another unit blocks her path, she drives straight into a tree. McDaniel approaches the wreck, weapon drawn. The driver suffers only minor injuries, so officers pull her out and slap on the cuffs. A search of the vehicle reveals why she was so desperate to get away. Uh, inside our pocket, we, we did find uh, a couple of bags, a uh, large quantity of methamphetamine, crystal meth. Vicki Hendricks pleads guilty to multiple charges and is sentenced to three years in jail. This car thieving lady led police in circles until a dizzying pit maneuver left her head spinning. I've been in law enforcement 17 years and it probably ranks one of the top five pursuits I've ever been in.